How to practice office etiquette. Good workplace manners are the glue that hold the happiest companies together. With good office etiquette, you'll feel comfortable around your coworkers and make a great impression on your supervisor. Your workplace will feel like a second home in no time. Practicing personal workplace habits. Dress appropriately. Every workplace has a slightly different dress code, but in general, avoid wearing clothes that are revealing, overly casual or too loose or tight. If you're not sure what your office's dress code is, ask a friendly coworker or your boss, and observe what others wear. It may be acceptable to wear nice jeans, or you may want to stick to slacks, button-down shirts and blouses, and skirts. Determine what your dress code is and stick to it. You can still buy nice work clothes if you're on a budget by mixing and matching coordinating styles and buying it off the rack stores. You can still buy nice work clothes if you're on a budget by mixing and matching coordinating styles and buying it off the rack stores. Avoid overpowering perfume or cologne. You and your coworkers are probably in close quarters so keep your office scent subtle. You don't want it to irritate anyone's nose or even give them an allergic reaction. If you choose to wear a scent, dab only small amounts on your pulse points, like your wrists, and not in your clothing. Stay home when you're sick. Use up those sick days when you have them. You may feel guilty about losing a day of work, but taking the day off will help you recover faster and prevent you from exposing the rest of the office to your illness. Even if you're not contagious, your constant coughing or nose blowing could distract your coworkers, meaning that the whole office is unproductive and annoyed. Save everyone the trouble, grab some medicine and take the day off. Even if you're not contagious, your constant coughing or nose blowing could distract your coworkers, meaning that the whole office is unproductive and annoyed. Save everyone the trouble, grab some medicine and take the day off. Be polite over email. Keep your emails polite, concise and to the point. Avoid discussing private matters, like a client's financial information, and speaking badly of any of your coworkers. With a simple click of the forward button, your email can be shared with the whole company, so make sure everything in it is polite and professional. Keep your language workplace appropriate. Save the emojis and exclamation points for texts with friends. Keep your language workplace appropriate. Save the emojis and exclamation points for texts with friends. Keep your social media appropriate. Even if you have your social media set to private, your coworkers and even your boss will find a way to see it if they want to. Before you post, ask yourself, is this something I don't mind my boss seeing? Is posting this worth sacrificing the respect of my employer, or losing my job? Avoid overly raunchy posts or pictures with drugs or alcohol, especially if you're under the legal drinking age. Eat in the lunchroom or outside. This is especially important if you're eating strong-smelling foods. It's fine to heat up your leftover fish in the microwave, but find a place to eat it where it won't disturb your coworkers. If it's a nice day, sit outside. Otherwise, head for the lunchroom or an empty conference room. Even the sound of chewing, crunching or slurping can be annoying to some noise-sensitive coworkers. Respect their preferences and enjoy your meal outside the office. Even the sound of chewing, crunching or slurping can be annoying to some noise-sensitive co-workers. Respect their preferences and enjoy your meal outside the office. Don't take other people's food from the communal lunch area. It can be tough to tell when food is communal or personal, especially if it's in an open container or is sitting in the middle of the fridge. Err on the side of caution. If it's not clearly marked as something that's free for the taking, leave it alone. There's no faster way to ruin a coworker's day than by eating their lunch. Pack your own lunch in a bag or container and attach a sticky note with your name on it to avoid confusion. If you do accidentally take someone else's food, be honest and own up to it. Say, I'm so sorry that I ate your salad. I thought it was someone's leftovers they were giving away. Let me go buy you another one. Avoid office gossip. Cubicle walls are thin and if you talk badly about a coworker, chances are it will find its way back to them, no matter how large your office is. 
If you're frustrated with your boss and need to vent, do so outside of work. If it co-workers invite you to gossip, say, I've got to get back to my desk, I'm so swamped right now. As much as you dislike your boss or co-worker now, it'll be much worse if word gets back to them that you were talking about them behind their backs. Greater than if it co-workers invite you to gossip, say, I've got to get back to my desk, I'm so swamped right now, as much as you dislike your boss or co-worker now, it'll be much worse if word gets back to them that you were talking about them behind their backs.